my very dearest Ronghill. <laughs> we are standing here now and we are celebrating you. <laughs> we are celebrating you with the Beacon of Dignity Award, awarded to you by the World Dignity University Initiative that is part of the Human Dignity and Humiliation Studies Network, which is a global family of people, of academics and practitioners who wish to bring more dignity into this world. And you, my dear friend, you are a midwife of this <laughs> global dignity family. I met you 21 years ago and this global family started, the idea started 2001 and I met you in 1994. And I cannot imagine this work, this global dignity work without you. Oh. And even I would not have had the strength to go into that direction because you showed me strength connected with love to be a strong person and a loving person, to connect this. You gave me the strength to go into that direction and somehow develop Gina Naring. Now I want to say a Norwegian word because we normally speak Norwegian together. <laughs> so I, I'm falling into Norwegian. So I want to nurture this global uh, um, dignity family due to your encouragement. So Thank therefore, you you are a midwife of this global network and you since it emerged in 2003 it emerged more it always emerges more mm. uh, it is never somehow founded it is a process mm. uh, and since this process started you have been a pillar at every moment at every moment not only a pillar you have been more than a pillar. A pillar is one among others, and there are other pillars. But there is something else with you, namely that you are also like the earth and the sky. <laughs> Not just one pillar. You are the earth, you are a found, the founding ground, the, the ground, the fundament on which we stand. And you connect that with the sky with the universe. So this is something that I haven't seen in many other people. You know, therefore I said uh, in my, what I, the, the written text mm. for you, that names like Nelson Mandela, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King, um, Dalai Lama, um, wow. you know, those um, people who have, um, who are very, very rare, they come to mind when I think of you. So you are a person who has access to something much, much, much larger, to the universe. You are anchored in something larger, in a bigger context of meaning. So this bigger context of meaning within which you are anchored, and you are anchored in that with your entire being. You are anchored in that with your soul, and it's, it's like... It's a question of de death and life. It's not a question of mm, hobby or uh, play or interest. It's a, an existential, profound anchoring that you have in a larger context of meaning. A deep sincerity that also I share with you. And therefore, I'm so thankful that you are a soul sister to me also personally in that path to give an, an, to nurture this global dignity family mm. so the the um i would like to invite everybody who listens to us now uh, to to honor you thank you yeah <laughs> thank you to appreciate you to <laughs> um to also open up because even people who are very busy in their lives mm. who cannot imagine you know what is she talking about we all have a little window open in our s mind, in our souls. And, and here is Ranghil, who is both anchored in this world and anchored in something bigger. So you are this bridge between here, down to earth, money, fair trade, <laughs> and up to, you know, 
p touching our hearts as a singer. And <laughs> I, I know that you wish to sing something for us. Yes. You want to say some words and then you want to sing something for us. So this will be uh, absolutely joy. <laughs> and I would like to give you this now. Thank you. As the universe's uh, the appreciation, the recognition, <laughs> the honor that the whole universe brings to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> founding president. <laughs> mm. Wow, <laughs> this is um, this is a very great moment in my life. You know, the everyday work of dignity is um, is from moment to moment. So uh, when I have been working with fair trade in Egypt, for example, sometimes I felt very lonely because people up north where I come from or people also abroad, maybe they don't ask these questions, who made my clothes or under which conditions are my clothes made? So when I start asking these questions and also making art installations about them, I feel now Uh, connected and have always felt connected with uh, the Human Dignity and Humiliation Networks because of your support. And um, the other, when I sing, <laughs> sometimes I soul sing, as you know, mm -hmm. for I can do it in uh, Nepal or I can do it in um, Africa or I can do it in Norway and we always can connect with, to each other from heart to heart. But I wanted now to sing a song that I have made in honor of my own grandfather, who was a fisherman and who knew a lot about dignity in action in every day. And we stand here in a very special place. Perhaps you can describe the place where we stand yes, today. Yes, we are standing here in this place because um, it is actually the rests of um, or what is there now as ruins mm -hmm. uh, from a former place where we had sheep mm -hmm. and my grandfather used to have his sheep here mm -hmm. and so I felt also we are standing on um, uh, this sort of uh, carpet carpet which is made woven. here in Norway mm -hmm. and woven and for me this is an everyday carpet and I'm an everyday person who you put now the spotlight on mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> I want to sing to my grandfather but also to you and to every hard-working everyday dignity person out there. When you're worried and you cannot see Close your eyes and make a smile When I see where I think I have to sing it again When I'm worried and I cannot sleep I count my blessings instead of sheep I watch those shadows fade away as I brighten my mind with a glimpse of day. Secret treasure, simple pleasure, live in the words of thank you. I walk my mind to a blessed time by saying the words thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>